Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week I'm working on building my super suit. Now, I've been thinking about my super suit and I love it. However, it just seems to fit my body size. As a fan of everything nano or tiny, I'm really good at the small stuff. But what if I needed to do something massive? Then I would need giant powers. I think my super suit needs to help me have some giant skills so I can do big things. Let me think. A giant head. <gasps> that would be useful. Mm, actually, no, it wouldn't. It might be really hard to hold up and might make my neck really, really tired. Okay, what about giant feet? Oh, they might be good for swimming with because they've always got built-in flippers, but also they might be really heavy and I might get tired trying to pick my legs up with them. What else could be giant? I know, what about giant hands? Then we could wave at people from far away and pick up really big things really easily. So how do our hands work anyway? Well, if you take a look at your hands, you'll see that it's made up of lots of different parts. So you've actually got 27 different bones in here and we can move our fingers and our thumb independently. And we can do this because of something called tendons. Now tendons are made up of connective tissue and they run down our fingers. Here's an easy way to see them. Stretch your fingers out like this and you should be able to see there are some lines that run down from your fingers. And this is what helps us grip different things. So if I'm going to make a giant hand, I'm going to need to build some amazing tendons as part of our super suit giant hand attachment. For this experiment, you are going to need thick cardboard, string, scissors, tape, pencil, some paper rolled into straws or some plastic straws, and a ruler. So you're going to start by drawing a large hand shape on your cardboard, much bigger than your own hand. So I'm going to draw my left hand on the piece of card, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure there's plenty of space for my wrist here. I'm going to measure at least 12 centimeters there. So, and then I'm going to use my fingers, but make it giant. And then I'm going to cut this shape out. Here we go. Here is my giant hand. Next, you can either make two paper straws by rolling your paper around a pencil, or I'm going to use some leftover plastic straws that I have here. You're going to measure and cut 16 one centimeter lengths of straws. Now, on each of your fingers, you want to bend them forwards like this at the point that they stop here at the hand and then you want to bend them at the tips and then you want to bend them somewhere in between those two bends and if you actually take a look at your real hand you'll see you have the same creases you have a crease here like this and then one above it and then you have a little crease here like that now take some tape and you're going to tape a section of the straw into that top folded area and you're going to do that for every top section and then you're going to do it all the way down a finger so you're going to have three sections down each finger and then you're going to do one section at the bottom in a line like this next you're going to cut four lengths of string that are long enough to reach from the tip of the finger to the bottom of the hand like that so one two three four so now you're going to thread one piece of string through the straw for one finger. I actually find if you've got a wooden skewer, it just helps to poke them through. There you go. When you get to the end, you're going to tie a knot in the top here and do that for each finger. There we go, all tied on. Next, you're going to take a piece of card that is about three centimeters wide and the same width as the width of your palm area here. And you're going to tape it over your lower straws here just to reinforce them. Next, you need to cut a square that is going to reinforce the back of your wrist here. 
So let me see how big mine is. I'm going to cut mine to be about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And if your card is corrugated like mine, try and get the corrugations to run vertically to give it a bit more strength. There you go. So that's nicely reinforced. Now cut a rectangle of card that's about five centimeters wide that can go around your giant wrist and then fold it over. Now you want to make sure that there's a little bit of space before you tape it down for your hand to fit through like that, but not your thumb. So that's about the space that I need. And then tape that distance over on the back. So now when I turn it over, I can fit my hand in like this. Now, when your hand is nice and secure in there and you can move your fingers like this, you want to take the string for each corresponding finger and then loop it around the tip of your finger here and then tie a loop for that same distance. What you should be able to do when you've tied a loop is check that when you put your finger into here and you pull down on that finger, it should pull down just like a tendon, your giant hand. Now do that for the rest of your fingers, loop them all on and then tie them into loops. Now for the moment of truth. Can I use this giant hand to pick up something awesome or something disgusting? Nano, nano girl, why don't you come over here and take a look? Ha ha! There you go, you can watch this cool giant hand. Look how much bigger it is than you. Now let's find something disgusting to pick up with my giant hand. Ooh, what about this? A giant tissue. Let's see if my giant hand can pick it up. Here we go. Look, it totally can. Ha, I can pick up disgusting things with my giant hand. And now I have giant hand skills, like I can scratch my head in a giant way. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh, I can also use it to ask a question. So when I put my hand up, you can see me. Hello. I could also use it to wave at you from really far away and you could still see me like this. Bye. Oh, that's right, it's not very far away. Hold on, let me go further. Not very far. Bye! You can still see me? One more. 